drive around in this heat, you smell the manure smell that comes off the uh, poultry houses near where we are. And I recently watched a video on uh, pig operations, I guess in the North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia area, and these huge operations that are growing these pigs for the bacon and the ham and everything, um, they have ponds that are next to the facility and that's where all the feces and the urine from these many, many animals go. And they're open ponds and so the air around them stinks terribly and when there's a breeze blowing it blows into the communities around them and it's, um, I think some people are starting to say it's caused a health uh, issue and it might. What about those misters? What about those what? Those misters? That's yeah. That showed me something about that. Something about misting the waste away? Yeah, like yeah. up the air and then it goes down with. Yeah, there's some kind of misting operation where they mist the waste. Is it for cattle? It's for some kind of critters. Some kind of critters. And it, what immediately came to my mind when I, I think about these things is they are throwing away manure. They are throwing away nitrogen rich products coming from these animals. And in the good old days, in family farms, all that manure and that waste product was recycled. That is what the farmer then turned around and used as fertilizer on his fields for the next year. And so it was a it was a system, like a, not a closed system, but it was a system. Constant renewal. Yeah, a constant renewal. It was a cyclical thing so that you got better plants every year. Therefore, feeding your animals, your animals are healthy. They make more animals. You use their manure. So here's a thought for you all, if you live near any of these facilities, go talk to a plant manager and say to that man, how about composting this instead? That facility can sell them. If they made manure, if they made rich, not even that, let's, let's not, not, not small time, not bag it up so that consumers can buy it. He should be selling that to the farmers near him. He should be saying, you know, for so much a ton, you can come get this stuff out of my t out of my pond and throw it on your crops and they won't have half the problems that they have now with the chemical fertilizer. Chemical fertilizer has some runoff issues and it kills all kinds of bugs that are um, beneficial to the ground and every year they have to use more and more and more of the chem chemical fertilizer. Whereas if they used a natural fertilizer, they would re be replenishing the, the minerals and the, and the nutrients back into the soil and they wouldn't have to use the chemicals. And so I'm going to challenge y'all to, to go talk to a plant manager near you and give them this idea and see what they think about it. And here's the other the flip side of that. You can go to those places yourself and say, hey, I'd love to take some of this stuff off your hands. Can I bring a pickup truck with some bins in it and you fill me up? And then you use that stuff on your garden or in your compost pile. It only takes a year for compost to go around. So if you do it this fall, by next fall, you'll be able to use that soil on your garden and it will be full of nutrients. So think about that. Um, and maybe you will be able to get some sort of benefit from these things that are going on around you. All right, have you done anything for the kingdom today? Shalom!